everybody <laughs> how are you all doing today yum yum peach ice cream that's right sorry I'm running a little late I um, forgot that I installed um, my bot on another computer to play around with it and I had to like get another authorization token and I didn't get a new one for the original one. It was a whole big mess, and I don't think it's working still. So, um, yeah, it still says that the stream is offline on my thingy here. So, that's fun. So, the bot's not going to be working, I don't think, unfortunately. So, if anybody tries to... Um, use any of my commands and probably yeah I don't know I don't have time to look at it I forgot um, so I downloaded the chatbot on my other computer so that I could use it while I was doing a rerun marathon and it changed the authorization token and then I forgot to come back here and fix it over here and I didn't realize it until I had already started <laughs> So I don't have time to look at it right now. But how are you guys? How are you? Yeah, I know. Super complicated. <laughs> um, I'm doing pretty good. I had the last few days off. Uh, MVP and I were supposed to go camping and that didn't happen because it was rainy and gross. So we were kind of sad about that. But we had a pretty okay afternoon on Saturday. We did crafts. I don't know if you follow either of us on Twitter, but we were posting pictures of that. We did cross-stitch while we watched movies and Netflix, so that was fun. And then yesterday we went to Vermont for the day. Um, we bought a bunch of Vermonty stuff and saw some nature. MVP is unmotivated. Yeah, I'm sorry. Motivation is a hard thing to come by sometimes. I wish I could tell people how you can motivate yourself, but I'm not really great <laughs> at that sometimes myself, so I'm not really the best person <laughs> to uh, give advice on how to stay motivated. And you know that. <laughs> but, 
yeah, I, I had a pretty relaxed day so far. Um, had a really long breakfast with MVP until she went to work. And then um, went to the store to get the rest of my supplies for today. And when I'm done, I think we might grill something if it's not raining out. Oh, thank you. You're the best. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm just kind of in a really relaxed day. I tried to clean up a little bit and it's still a work in progress, but um, I'm going to be renovating, like remodeling, I guess is the best word for it. I'm going to be remodeling the kitchen over the course of the next few weeks and I have to do it in segments, so... Yes, you do need to bump me to the top of the auto host list. <laughs> you don't. You don't really. Because we don't really stream the same things. But if you really want to, you can. Um, yeah, so I'm going to be, like, painting the cabinets and redoing the floor and maybe painting the countertop. And then I'm going to try to find, um, have one of my friends come and install more lighting in the kitchen. To give it some more even lighting and I won't have to do so many different white balances because there's different bulbs and things all over the place but so that's my my goal for the next few weeks I'm also working on some stuff outside with like a patio um, so we can give the dog a more clean place to use the bathroom in the winter and stuff so but yeah um, so today I'm gonna be making a uh, peach ice cream that's a coconut milk base and I haven't made it before so I don't know how it's gonna turn out but we're gonna try it and see what happens and I'm going to make some maple syrup butter pan roasted pecans to put in it um, yeah so it's gonna be pretty low maintenance and it will hopefully be really delicious so we'll see how it turns out um, one thing that I want to note for today's recipe is that the last recipe that we made for ice cream was my raspberry frozen yogurt and it is delicious but when you go to take it out of the freezer and eat it up again you have to let it thaw for like a very very long time and the reason for that is because it doesn't have any stabilizers or emulsifiers in it so today one of the things that I'm going to try is adding some stabilizers and emulsifiers so when you're making ice cream when you use traditional ingredients like egg whites, that's an emulsifier. And a stabilizer would be something like um, alcohol, so like a vanilla extract is alcohol based, and it keeps some of the ice crystals from forming. So when you make non-dairy ice cream, you have to come up with more creative ways as to how to do those things. So one of the things that I've used for a really long time is arrowroot flour, because it doesn't have like a chalky taste, it's pretty flavorless, um, and that would be the stabilizer. So it should help the ice crystals from forming. Um, the other ingredient that I'm going to be using is powdered lecithin granules, and that's an emulsifier. So basically what emulsifiers do is they keep the fat molecules from separating from the rest of the ingredients. So both of those things combined should help make the ice cream more scoopable out of the freezer um, and this is also a coconut milk I just lost a bunch of papers a coconut milk based um, ice cream so the coconut milk also has a tiny amount of guar gum in it and that is also between a stabilizer and an emulsifier um, I don't know if you've ever made coconut ice cream at home the recipe before that that we made for the peanut butter ice cream had coconut milk in it and you could scoop that right out of the freezer. So I'm really hopeful that these two accommodations will help solve that problem. And if so, I'm going to be using them a lot more in the future when I make stuff. So let me get my chat open because I keep forgetting to plug in my iPod, iPad. Um, I'm going to start by making the pecans so that they cool off. And... They don't melt the ice cream when they, come on, chat. So they don't melt the ice cream when I mix them in. And 
I'm also just kind of like making this up too. So I'm just going to use a half of a cup. A half of a cup of pecans. Come on. Don't you just love it when there's a pull tab on a product and it pulls, but it doesn't go down to where you actually need it to open. It's my favorite thing. It's my favorite thing ever. Like, why did they even have that in the first place? All right, so I'm just going to put these right into the pan. And I'm just going to crunch them a little bit because I don't want them to be like whole whole, but I also don't want them to be teeny tiny pieces. Like it'll be nice if there are some of them that are whole, but I don't want all of them to be whole. That's probably good. And when you're roasting nuts in a pan and on the stove, you want to use a really, really low heat so you don't end up burning them. So I'm also going to use about two tablespoons of butter. I'm using fake non-dairy butter. You could also use coconut oil. I'll say one to two tablespoons because I'm not really sure if, if that's right. The, the lines on the non-dairy butter are not even. Okay, I probably did use two tablespoons, so that's good. So if you see on here, there's little lines. Maybe you can't see it. The end one actually lines up pretty good to the marking, so it should be two tablespoons. Oh, hi. Hi, Desert Owl. So I don't know if you guys know, but MVP is using my sub emote. <laughs> I don't know why I picked that. It just, I think... My motivation is that I want people to be like, oh, look at that. Look at what she's doing. So that's what that's supposed to be. It's donuts. It's frosted donuts. An MVP designed it with my um, suggestions. What do you guys think? Is it good? If nobody really ends up using it, I might change it to something else. <laughs> so I'm also going to put two tablespoons of maple syrup on here. And that seems like it might be a lot. But another thing that you have to realize about ice cream is that things become less sweet when they're frozen. Less sweet. And I'm just going to do like a teeny tiny amount of cinnamon teeny tiny amount just for flavors and I'm gonna heat it up I'm just gonna stir it until everything is melted and most of the liquid is baked off and then I'm gonna put them in a bowl and I'm gonna put it right in the freezer Desert Owl, I grow pecans in my yard. That's great. <laughs> I would love to have some sort of pecan or walnut or almond tree, but we have such limited space. Technically, our neighbors have walnuts, but I don't know that any of those walnuts that come off of those trees are, like, edible. The rodents sure seem to like them a lot. So I've put the, um, the heat on medium low just to start that getting melted and so my my tentative recipe here that I came up with is 10 ounces or so of peaches and the bag that I bought is actually a pound so I'm gonna have to measure it out I'm gonna do like a half a cup pureed and then a half a cup roughly chopped Um, I was pretty sure that New Mexico or Texas did grow the most pecans. They, like, both regions have a lot. Uh, Texas pecans and New Mexico pecans are, like, the big thing. 
So yeah, I'm going to try to do, well, maybe I'll do one and a half cups of peaches all together. And then a can of coconut milk, a half a cup of sugar, a tablespoon of vanilla, an uh, eighth of a cup of maple syrup, and then the lecithin and arrowroot. Because peaches are really, really sweet. I'm not sure that I need to add a lot of sugar. Yeah, half a cup of sugar would, should be pretty good. Actually, I might not even add the maple syrup to the, the ice cream itself. That might be too sweet. Yeah, don't tell Texas that. <laughs> They're very proud of their pecans. And their peaches. Okay, so we are starting to get a little melting here. How's the angle there, guys? Okay. Oh, and of course, I forgot my blender cup. <laughs> it's way, way, way up there, so that's fun. Desert Owl says, it is New Mexico and Georgia that complete, compete for the title, Texas is fourth. Wow. MVP says, hello, Doc. <laughs> yes, we did want to go to the pistachio farm, but we didn't have time. It's really cool. I'm going to stand on this so I hope not to fall and or offend anybody with the angle. There we go. Okay. So... This is melted, that's really good. It's starting to make nice little popping noises. And it smells really, really good. Do, 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 do. How's it going, ducks? Oh, and hey, Red Dawn, everybody's coming out. Follow Lady Grey. I think I've seen you around, but if we've never met, welcome to the stream. I hope you are ready for some delicious peachy goodness. <laughs> How are you guys doing today? Thank you for the host, Red Dawn. So I know somebody's gonna ask, so this is the type of coconut milk I'm using today. It is regular, full-fat coconut milk. See all that coconut stuff on the top? Um, when you're making ice cream, you do not want to use the light coconut milk at all. So all of this creamy stuff on the top, whoop! Yep. Did you see that action shot? <laughs> I was just gonna say, all of the coconut water is down, down underneath all this coconut cream. I've seen a lot of recipes where they don't actually use the, the watery part in the ice cream recipes, but I typically use the whole thing. And I got coconut water all over the place. Down, down, down to coconut town. That's right. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do a lot of these peaches. So I'm going to do a cup of peaches in there. Roughly. One more. You left your Takis at home? What are you gonna do? That's sad. No Takis. <laughs> I 
I do love myself a good curry desert owl. In fact, I was thinking about making that for dinner tonight if MVP doesn't want to grill. I got two simmer sauces from the store um, that I'm interested in trying out because I haven't had a whole lot of different types of curry um, and I really only make the one kind at the moment and I'm very interested in trying a bunch of different kinds and then coming up with like sauce mixes or spice mixes that I can use to make them a lot easier. Have you guys tried simmer sauces in a jar before? I can show you one to, one to you. This is what I'm talking about here. There's many, many, many different kinds. So this one attacks mild curry sauce. Um, but there's also Maya, Maya Kumial, I think is her name. She makes some that are really, really, really good. That's the, the kind I usually get. These ones I just saw at Walmart and I wanted to try them out. Still very soupy. Turn the heat up a little bit. I just don't want to burn them. Okay, so I got those peaches and then I just need some sugar. I'm gonna do my half a cup of sugar. And you can taste test your ice cream while you're making it. The only thing is that um, you need it to be almost too sweet. Otherwise it won't be sweet enough when it's frozen. <laughs> so let's see what's going on in chat here okay you're gonna go home to get your takis <laughs> and ducks's taki ripoffs are all gone yet desert owl blends all of your own spices so i know that with most curries you make a paste before you put it in the pan um i'm interested in just making a spice blend so that i can Keep it all in a jar and then just combine it with my tomatoes and coconut milk and you know like a couple tablespoons of spices that's what i'm working on right now yes i i'm sure i need a higher res wood picture <laughs> seeing pixels does you hurt well I guess it is a little blurry. It can be fixed. All right. You guys taking a look at this super sweet sizzling action? Can you see it? Let's do this. I forgot I have multiple camera angles now. <laughs> It smells really, really great, just so you know. So it should only be a little bit while longer until I can pull these. Do you want shiplap? You can take a photo. Yeah, might as well. You can make it into a paste, but store it as a powder. That's interesting. Yeah, if you have any pointers, I would love to hear them. You can send me a um, message on Discord in MVP's channel if you want. I know I still don't have a Discord and I apologize, but I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting. I'm trying to work on a website right now um, where I can put all the recipes and stuff. The one that I'm using isn't really like super user friendly. So I haven't added any of them on there. A part of me was thinking that I should just put the recipes on each YouTube video, but then I don't, I don't want to drive my traffic all to YouTube. I want to drive them here so that they can have fun with us, you know? 
So I'm thinking of just putting like my base base recipes on there and anytime I make them on the stream and I do changes to them, I can just update that page. Also, a lot of times when I'm done cooking after streaming, I don't have enough room to take a good picture of the dish. So I kind of feel like if I made blog posts for each thing, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't always be able to put a picture in there. I don't know how I feel about that. I think I should probably oil this bowl because if I put these in the freezer, they might get stuck to the bowl and to each other. Still a little on the goopy side. Goopy side! Ship lap, yeah. <laughs> Is a pecan like a fancy walnut? Um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't compare them. <laughs> I think they're both very different. Some people like one more than the other. I know I like pecans more than I like walnuts. And they do have very different flavors. <laughs> they are really, really great. Yes, they're very, very different from one another. All right, I think I'm going to pull it, even though it's a little soupy. Maybe some of it will become brittle-esque, and I can put that in the ice cream, too. <laughs> that looks amazingly delicious. Okay, I'm going to spread these out a little bit. Alright, so that stuff is done. We're going to put this in the freezer, so hopefully it doesn't melt the ice cream by the time we put it all together. Okay. All right, so back to what we were doing. Pecans fascinate you, Red Dawn? They are very, very good. So just to give you like a for instance, um, you, you would always have pecan pie, but you would never have walnut pie. And I think that tells you all you need to know about the difference between them. Okay. So we've got a cup of peaches, can of coconut milk, and a half a cup of sugar in here. Um, I am going to blend in the other stuff, but I'm going to do it after everything else. Because the more you work the stabilizers and the emulsifiers into the liquid, the more it can affect the texture. And I don't want that. So we're just going to blend this. And then we're going to chop the peaches. And then we're going to add the other stuff to the blender. And then we're going to mix it all up in a bowl.
I think that's good for starters. So I'm going to get my bowl ready. I'm going to put the half a cup of chopped peaches in here. You know, guys, pretty soon it will be time to make pumpkin-y ice cream. pumpkin -y ice cream. It's going to be so good. Yes, I know. I think you've talked about the mixing bowl before, Red Dawn. Um, they're Paula Deen. <laughs> they look very vintage, but they are not. <laughs> we got a set from MVP's mom a very long time ago. And true story, I don't know if you remember that movie with Will Ferrell and Zach Galifianakis called The Candidate, but Zach Galifianakis' character in it had a set of these bolts. <laughs> okay. So I'm just going to look at my recipe again real quick, make sure that I have a good ratio of uh, amounts here. I know it's an odd thing to remember MVP, but I can't help it. <laughs> like that's one of the only things I remember from the movie too. That's it. <laughs> okay, so I still need the vanilla. So a tablespoon of vanilla, and then I need a tablespoon for the arrowroot as well. Oh, we'll do this guy for the vanilla, because I can just rinse him off, and that way the other one won't get wet. <laughs> yes, MVP and I went antiquing while we were at the uh, the place in Vermont. Um, it is kind of like a Vermont mall. It has like um, stores run by Vermont manufacturers, um, like Cabot Cheese, and they had a toy museum in there, which was really fun. Um, it's free. So, like, the quality is not what you would expect <laughs> when you hear the word museum. Um, it's not really, like, full of information or anything. It's just like, here is the section from the 50s. Here is the section from the 60s. And then they have, like, a Star Wars section. And they had a board game section. But it was fun. Um, and the antiques, there were a lot. Like, there were three floors. And we only did one floor because it was too much stuff to look at. Okay, so for these stabilizing ingredients, my arrowroot powder, okay. So arrowroot powder is one of those things where you only use it in this type of recipe or when you're making like bread or something. You can also use it to make sauces, but it, it, you're supposed to heat it up in order for it to thicken. I'm not using it to thicken things. I'm just using it to stabilize things. Yes, antique malls do get exhausting. Um, and I'm going to add a teaspoon of these lecithin granules to here. And it's very clumpy because I've had them for a long time. So we'll see. We'll see how well it does. This might, this might be a mistake. But we'll see what happens. I just want scoopable ice cream. Okay, and we're gonna puree this for a few minutes. Oh 
Oh, hello, Jinx. Yay, you found the emote. <laughs> I was just telling everybody that MVP designed that per my specifications. And um, I hope you guys like it enough to use it all the time. My thought behind it was you would see something you would like and go, oh, with the emote. <laughs> um, yeah, ooh, ice cream, like that. See if I could fit more letters in it, it would be ooh, not just oh, but here we are. <laughs> Welcome, I was just thinking about you because you weren't here. And I was like, it's, it's a shame that she's not here to see it. Let me move this stuff out of the way. So what we're doing right now is combining um, the stabilizers and emulsifiers in with the pureed ingredients so that hopefully when we go to make or to eat more of the ice cream after it's solid in the freezer, um, it's actually scoopable. Because I was telling everybody that the raspberry frozen yogurt, um, you have to let it thaw for like 20 minutes before you can take any of it out. Jinx was using it the other night. Oh, was it on your stream? I forget. I have a bad memory. This is very slippery. So I'm going to pop it open and take a look and see how everything is. You were using the emote. The Clem emote. The Clem O-Nut. It looks pretty good. Nothing is sinking to the bottom. Although it looks like the arrow root kind of got stuck to the side. So we're going to scrape it and then blend it again. Okay. One more time. All right, that should do it. No more blending, I promise. So I'm just gonna mix everything else together in the bowl, and then we're gonna put it in the ice cream maker. And then we're just gonna sit and chat. Oh, hello? Oh, hi, thank you, ducks. 80 bean bits. Thank you. I appreciate it. I've said it before and I will say it again, you guys are the best. You are the best. I'm glad you have sound. Jinx, it sounds like you're having some issues today with your computer or your phone. Um, I'm glad that you guys can actually see me because my browser, for some reason, every time Windows updates, it is green and I have to go in and change the security settings each time. So needless to say, Windows updated. Um, and the Twitch screen right now is just green. Like, I have OBS open to see what's going on and stuff. Make sure that I have the camera angles going correctly. But everything else is uh, a green screen. And not the good kind that you use for special effects. So, I guess what I can do here is give it a little taste and see if it's super, super sweet. And if it's not super, super sweet, I can add some maple syrup at this point. So yeah, for, for you guys who weren't here earlier, um, when you're making ice cream, you can taste test it as you go, but the thing you have to keep in mind is that sugary things become less sweet when you freeze them. So when you're making a recipe for ice cream and you want to taste test it, you have to make sure that it's like almost too sweet in order to make sure that it'll actually be good when you go to eat it. 
<laughs> You're in the break room? Yeah. My break room is in the basement, um, and you can't really get very good signal down there either. Mmm, that is good. It is very sweet. I don't know, I think I might still want to add the maple syrup. Oh, hi! <laughs> Hello, vegan chick eatery. Thank you for stopping by. We had a lot of fun watching your stream the other day. And we were even talking about, um... Yeah. I forget. What were you doing? You were, were you using the air fryer the other day? Um, I think that was the stream, right? You were doing air fryer stuff? Maybe? <laughs> um, yeah, we were even talking about getting an air fryer after that. I think that was it, right? I can, I, I'm having a brain fart today. Okay, so my plan for the recipe was to add maple syrup. And I'm going to do it. So I added an eighth of a cup. And I, you know what? I think I'm going to add a pinch of nutmeg too. And it'll be more like peach pie. Or peach cobbler. Okay. Jinx, you're the one who likes nutmeg, right? <laughs> so I'm just gonna do like a little maybe two pinches no maybe just one pinch one pinch of nutmeg yeah so we're looking into getting an air fryer now because your tofu looked really 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 good Okay, so it's time to get the ice cream maker out, you guys. <laughs> yes, I know you love nutmeg. I was just thinking in the car on the way home um, from getting the peaches and coconut milk that I should add nutmeg to this because it would make you so happy. So that's what I'm doing. Okay. Getting ready. There's not enough space ever. Oh yeah, let's see, can I fit it over here? Okay, cool, woo! Things are falling over. Okay. Okay, I need my canister. Okay. This is the best I can do for the ice cream angle. All right. So that's it. We can go over the ingredients again while we're waiting for it. Oh, bye ducks. <laughs> Ice cream cliffhanger. <laughs> yeah, the bot is not working. Um, and also, 
I don't think I set that up yet, sorry. <laughs> Nutmeg smells like Christmas, Jinx says, yes. I did not know you could make a cheesecake in an air fryer, but um, Vegan Chick Eatery was talking about how you could make regular cake, so that makes sense. So this ice cream maker is a Cuisinart. I think it's around $50. Um, it works extremely well, but you do have, um, you do have to make sure the canister is frozen like 24 hours in advance in order for it to work. Um, yeah, so, so what we did let me update the recipe too. My pen disappeared. Okay, so we did one cup of peaches pureed and then a half a cup mixed in. So one and a half cups peaches total. And then a can of coconut milk, a half a cup of sugar, a tablespoon of vanilla, an eighth of a cup of maple syrup, a teaspoon of lecithin granules, a tablespoon of arrowroot powder. And then for the pecans, I did a half a cup of pecans. And then two tablespoons each of the vegan butter and maple syrup. plus about a dash of cinnamon. Oh, and in the ice cream, I did a pinch of nutmeg. Okay, did you guys get all that? <laughs> um, how long does it take when it's in there? It depends on what you're making, but usually it's, it's around 15, 20 minutes, especially for vegan stuff. Um, the instructions for the ice cream maker say something like um, 20 minutes to half an hour, but I've never had to wait more than 20 minutes usually for mine. So we should be, it should be done at like 310, 315. And if you look at the, the thing from here, I'm pretty sure you can already see it clumping up. Yep. So, um, it is really good. Um, I haven't used the lecithin granules in there before. Um, I'm hoping that it doesn't separate. So basically what the lecithin is supposed to do is distribute the fat throughout the, like the fat molecules throughout the other substances. So basically it won't break down when it's frozen, but I don't know really how, how it works because I've never used it before. It's just an ingredient that you usually see in store-bought vegan ice creams. So I had read a lot about what to do in order to get it more stable out of the freezer, and that's what was most recommended. <laughs> the dog's off screen just kind of wagging his little tail back and forth. <laughs> so yeah, um, the last ice cream recipe that I made on stream was for um, raspberry frozen yogurt, and it's like, solid ice out of the freezer. Well, thank you for coming, Vegan Chick Eatery. Um, I hope you liked it. <laughs> and be sure to check out um, Twitter when it's done because I'll post some pictures out of the freezer and I'll do like a tempering test later on too. Thank you so much. Thanks for coming. I'll try to catch you guys again soon. I had a good time while we were hanging out. It was a good stream. Jinx. Did you say you're going to be in New Hampshire this month from the 20th, 25th through the 30th? Or is that 
later on. If you can hear me. <laughs> so I was just looking at um, the calendar to see when would be a good time to um, paint my cabinets. And I was thinking about how it would be fun to like stream it at the same time, but I don't know that it's gonna happen. Oh, while you're at TwitchCon, of course. We can hang out. I don't have any other plans right now. <laughs> So, I can't stream repainting the cabinets on Sunday because we're going to whale watching. If I have Monday off, I might do it then, but I might just do it without streaming it. I don't know. Yeah, I would really like to stream it, but I don't know that it's going to happen. It might be too much work, and you might not be able to see very much stuff while I'm doing it. It looks really great. It looks really, really great. Here, let me let me do this. Have you been to New Hampshire before? Do you, is there certain stuff you like to do if you have? I always have trouble with people when they come visit because I don't, I don't know what to show them because I've lived here forever and I don't really like know stuff. We could totally do that, MVP, right. So there's this board game bar that opened up a couple months ago and we're gonna go check it out either tonight or tomorrow night, I don't know but it should be really fun. They have over 900 games you can play. Whereabouts in New Hampshire are you gonna be? Are you gonna be in the Manchester area? Or are you gonna go further north? Oh yeah, tonight is DDO, you're right. So I think, um, I think the dog wants some treats. <laughs> you want some treats? <laughs> Come over here. Come over here. <laughs> Sit down. There we go. There we go. Can you sit down? <laughs> Are you a good boy? Can you give me a high five? High five. You're a very good boy. Can you lay down? You gotta lay down. Good boy. <laughs> you gotta dance. Dance. <laughs> Are you choking? Yeah, you're choking. You're a little old man. Here you go. <laughs> yep, that's my baby. <laughs> this looks so good. <laughs> like, so good. Hi, Stelina. Uh, we are almost done making our peach ice cream, and if I had a stand for the camera to sit right next to the ice cream maker, you would be, like, so, so jazzed for it. Here, let's do this again.
Oh my god. <laughs> Doesn't it look amazing? <laughs> this is like the anticipation is killing me. I think I'm gonna have to just put a spoon in it and eat it right now. Let me go get a spoon. Look out, babe. That is really, really delicious. That's wicked good. It is very, very sweet. Very sweet. It does have a, a little bit of a coconut taste to it though, so MVP might be a little disappointed, but it's really, really, really good. Have you made um, ice cream before? Or non-dairy ice cream? Like we're making? It's okay. <laughs> so what we did, we made uh, peach coconut milk ice cream with sugar and maple syrup. Um... We also roasted some pecans in maple syrup and butter with some cinnamon um, that we're going to mix in after it's done churning. We also added some arrowroot flour to help stabilize the ice cream so that when it's in the freezer it doesn't form ice crystals. And we also added some lecithin granules to help the fat emulsify throughout the ice cream. So we're doing kitchen science to see how it turns out. So we've got about another 10 minutes and it looks like it's doing really, really well. Really good. So um, for the rest of the week, I'm off tomorrow from streaming, but on Wednesday, we're going to play around with making some more bean fritters. So I haven't decided what I'm going to put in them yet, but I'm going to make roasted vegetables in the oven. So maybe butternut squash and sweet potatoes um, and garlic. And then I'm going to fry some little bean patties um, to go on the side. And we'll probably have some rice or bread to go with it too. So that's going to be Wednesday at 4 p.m. Eastern, and then on Thursday, the 16th, it's going to be the kombucha stream. We're going to try the root beer kombucha. Hi, Sagara! Yay, Jinx is back. On Thursday, we're going to hang out and make some more kombucha. We're going to try the root beer flavored one that we made last time, and we're going to make some other herbal flavor for this week. Um, I'm not sure which kind. I might do some some chamomile and maybe some jasmine or something like that. Oh, you're mailing me six shiplap picks to choose from. You're so sweet. I want to try to get some like, some like text above the cameras too. I don't know if you can do that in um, OBS or if I have to do it in Photoshop or something like that. Just so that the cameras have names and stuff. I want that. I want that. Uh, I think it's cool. <laughs> it's my baby. He was very excited to go to the farm stand today, and all these older people were like, oh my gosh, how old is your puppy? And I'm like, he's nine. <laughs> and what kind of dog is he? He's a poodle. Oh, okay. Yep. He's my baby. <laughs> He's my baby. I gotta go check on the ice cream. Okay? I gotta go check on the ice cream. Old puppy. 
puppy, yes. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I was telling everybody earlier that I'm working on a website to put all the recipes on, but I don't know how complete it's going to be because that literally takes the longest amount of time ever. I, <laughs> what I might end up doing is, is doing this. Like, take a picture of this recipe here, and then put it on Twitter, and then whenever anybody needs the information, I can just tweet at them. <laughs> because going back and making a blog post or a page for each recipe is extremely time consuming. It might have to be something, um, something I do like once a month, and I just go back and add everything to the page. We're getting so close, you guys. It's almost stuck to the uh, to the side. Today's recipe for peach ice cream non dairy. Oh yeah, I just uh, tweeted it. <laughs> so if anybody needs the recipe it's there all right i think it's i think it's done yeah it's totally wicked done look it's solid ice cream this is amazing oh my god oh my god okay that is phenomenal. Okay. How big is this container? Four cups. Perfect. Well, I don't have time to find the lid right now. So we're just going to transfer it like that. Oh. <sighs> This is by far the best, the best ice cream that I have created. The best, most amazing ice cream. Unfortunately, it kind of seems like the peachy bits just got mixed into everything else. Um, in hindsight, I probably should have waited to add the whole, like the chopped peaches until afterwards. Like what I'm gonna do with the pecans, but we'll do that next time. Look at how great that is! Oh my gosh, it's so amazing. The texture is perfect. Um, yeah, Jinx, I did see your attempt to do hashtag or exclamation point cookie. And I apologize, but yeah, the bot is not working. Hi, Tone. What's happening? <laughs> Man, we could put those on my website if anybody wants a shiplap backdrop. With an Explorer's Guild crest on it. There you go. Tone, um, you're just coming in to see the final results of ice cream making. Today we made a peach coconut milk based ice cream. Oh, there's still some whole peaches in there. Um, and we're using some kitchen science to try to keep it from freezing solid um, in the freezer because a lot of non-dairy ice creams, um, what's the word, are not scoopable when you take them out of the freezer right away. So I am going to get my pecans. We made um, maple roasted pecans to put in as well earlier. So yeah, kind of like what I was anticipating. They did kind of get stuck, but they're coming off. If I hadn't greased the bowl, it might have been a different story. But yeah, we just roasted these at the beginning of the stream, 
So I wanted to make sure that they cooled off enough so that when we added them, they wouldn't melt the ice cream again. We should eat one. Yeah, <laughs> I guess we should eat one. Those were great. Come on. So yeah, um, I would also suggest in the future that if you make these roasted nuts, you put them on um, parchment paper. So I think that's the, all I can fit inside of the container here. So I'm just going to put this in the freezer and I'm going to eat the rest <laughs> that's in the ice cream maker. But look at that. That looks so good, doesn't it? It's super thick and creamy and it's totally incorporated. Wow. Okay. So we're just going to put it in here until I can get the lid out of the cupboard. And we're going to close up. And I'm going to sit here and I'm going to scrape the rest of this ice cream out <laughs> and eat it. Bye, Jinx. I probably missed you. Check it out. This is so delicious. Um, Tone, yes. I used the Thai Kitchen regular full fat coconut milk. The whole can. Um, it was one and a half cups of peaches altogether. I pureed one cup with the coconut milk in the blender and half a cup of sugar. Um, and then I chopped the peaches, put them in a bowl, put a tablespoon of vanilla in a bowl, and then I mixed the um, a tablespoon of arrowroot powder and a teaspoon of lecithin granules into the, the blender mix and then blended that until it was really smooth, and then I combined it with the other ingredients. Oh, I also added an eighth of a cup of maple syrup. And it is phenomenal. I can't, I can't drip anything on my computer, you guys. <laughs> Mmm. It's really, really good. You guys are just gonna have to get ice cream makers and make it at home. I'm really, really impressed, you guys. It's not melting all over the place either. That's a really, really great sign. Oh, Sargris. It's doing much better. I've basically been babying it for a week and I can use it again without it hurting. So hopefully that doesn't change. I'm going to try to keep going easy on it though. I'm not sure what I did to make it like bruised or whatever, but it is feeling much, much better. I dare say I'm feeling normal, but I don't want to, I don't want to jinx it. This is great. This is really, really good. So yeah, speaking of um, recipes, I really have to find a way to get all of these things to people so that they can try them. And I know a lot of you guys aren't taking notes while you're watching, so 
I have to get my website together or find some way to keep all these recipes where you guys can find them. So I am working on it. <sighs> this is so good. Um, so let's take a look and see if there's anybody else streaming. Oh no, I'm sorry to hear that, Sargareth. That sounds very painful. So nobody that I'm following is streaming, unfortunately. Let's see if there's anybody on Belly. So if you guys aren't familiar, there is a food website for streamers. Um, that's a really bad way to put it. Um, there is a website that aggregates food streamers from Twitch called belly.io. Um, they have a food section and a programming section, but the food section basically shows you everybody who's live streaming food. Oh, there's me. <laughs> Somebody's making a clock. That's not food. Three foreign language ones. And that's it. Okay, so we have someone making peanut stir fry. And then somebody making spaghetti with bolognese sauce. And then a lot of people who look like they're Italian. <laughs> Yes, I remember your neck pain was debilitating and you needed drugs for it and everything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to roll the credits and then after that I'm just going to host one of these guys. So feel free to stick around and um, yeah, come back on Wednesday at four o'clock. I'm going to be making roasted root vegetables. Um, and bean fritters. Again, it's going to be um, original creative recipe, so I hope you come and you have a good time because that's what we're here for. And I will let you guys know whenever these things are online and I take a picture and I'll test the ice cream for temper out of the freezer. And yeah. <laughs> Thank you for coming. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you on Wednesday at 4 p.m. Eastern. Eastern Standard Time. Same bat kitchen. <laughs> I don't know. Bye, guys. <laughs>